Today, it's finally such a nice, warm spring day. I feel like there's a high of like 17 degrees. Go to a flower shop I've been meaning to go to. It's about an hour walk away from me, so that'll be a good way to get my steps in. And then there's a bookstore I've been wanting to check out on the way there. Just finished filming a video and the sun's coming out i thought it was gonna be such a gloomy day today and i'm about to go to my friend's baby shower this has been one of my go-to outfits part of my whole reset routine right now is to really embody cynthia 2.0 anytime i'm out especially like in social situations i just want to look and feel good so i put on my cute outfit I'm wearing just my everyday jewelry this is my cardigan from Cezanne. i love it i got it super oversized just because it was also super sold out such a gorgeous like mohair leather pants that i thrifted and then the other thing that i've been doing lately i've been trying to find a signature scent and i've been obsessed so we're gonna pick one today i want to quickly thank a dossier for partnering with me for this part of the video i've been wanting to try their perfumes for months when they reached out i was like yes this is divine timing the thing with these is they're so affordable like i bought a perfume a few years ago and it's been the only perfume i've used and it was like 200 300 but these are around like 50 to 60 70 dollars canadian these are my two go-to's right now one is called musky musk and one is called woody sage what i love about these is that they're all vegan and cruelty free paraben free and there's no like allergens or things that make me super sensitive like that's one of the things that i struggle with with perfumes is i don't want it to be super overwhelming i loved how subtle these are and i find that they last a decent amount of time to the day i think i'm gonna do this one today I usually just dab some on my wrists. Spray a little bit there. So I've been loving these. I think finding a signature scent and just smelling good when you're out and about really lifts my mood. Thank you, Dossier. I'm gonna arrive about five, 10 minutes fashionably late. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I don't have a car anymore. Usually I will take public transit, but um, I think I'm gonna Uber there just cause it's a little bit far. Take the TTC back home after and like walk a little bit. And you can see all of my flowers from when I went to the flower shop. They're doing so well. Can't forget her card. I would be so mad at myself if I left her card at home. I think I'm gonna wear this trench coat today. One that I picked up in Copenhagen. Big oversized trench coat, but I absolutely love it. It's gonna be kind of in like the West End Junction area. So I've been really into my new systems and routines just for healthy habits and making it easier for me to stay consistent. One of which has been this habit tracker. It's been so helpful to be able to cross things off every single day, clean my place a little bit every day, whether it's Wolfie's toys or the dust, especially with my white floors, I can see every single thing. I've also been trying to work out or move my body every day, especially after sitting at a desk all day. And what's worked for me right now is to just do home workouts. I feel like doing them at home has helped me be consistent so far. Another one one is going on walks. I'm trying to hit 5 to 10k steps a day. Shouldn't be that hard with Wolfie, but with the weather these days, it's really hit or miss for me. I'm also starting to take my diet and nutrition more seriously with a daily protein goal. I've really loved this tofu I got from my farmer's market. Love that yogurt. Trying to get more greens in with every meal too. This week I had some bok choy and gai lan. Really finding the things that I really enjoy eating, especially if I'm meal prepping every week. When work gets really busy for me, I will not eat properly if I don't have food prepped in the fridge so that's been something that i've been starting to do every week is just meal prepping like every sunday i meal prepped chicken sweet potato greens i made like a super super veggie heavy red curry sometimes i'll like have spinach or broccoli with this but 
I kind of got tired of that and it's whatever works for you as long as you're getting all of your nutrients in. That said, I'm still eating really good and enjoying food, especially out while socializing. I've been prioritizing dates with friends and just really good quality time with the people that are important to me in my life. I also hosted a little dinner at my place, a supper club, if you will, for the first time and I loved that experience. I still don't have dining chairs, so I just invited one of my old managers over for a catch-up and it was so nice to just be able to create this like intimate setting at home. I did not cook any of this food though. I ordered some Thai delivery, but even just getting into the headspace of hosting was so, so fun. And then of course, just going to cafes on days where I want to read and grab a coffee has been really nice too. I just got ready. I'm going to another listening room event today with my friend. It's become a monthly thing. These are like jam sessions with such talented local artists. I went to one for Sade probably a month ago now. Time is going by so fast. Today's a slum village. I've been trying to reset and feel like Cynthia 2.0. It's been feeling good. I'm just in my cozy little sweater today. I wanted to hop on and chat a little bit about that because this right here, I've been doing my habit tracking again and it's helped me so, so much. And I feel like this is one of the key reasons that I've been feeling a lot better for the last two, three weeks, especially. I think I started this because my birthday is coming up. I'm turning 29. Always around my birthday, I'm like, hey, reevaluating my life, reflecting on the things that I want to change or just seeing how far I've come. Your girl has just made waves, especially in just my mental health. I just want to stick to a routine and do all the things that I can kind of do to make sure that I'm taking care of myself because when life gets busy, especially when you have a full-time job, I feel like that often takes the number one priority and it shouldn't. So that's kind of like where this all started. And it's currently day, I think, 28. You see what will be behind me? Having a habit tracker is something that has worked really well for me. So I would try that if you guys have a bullet journal or anything. And then I often like to also just write out like my monthly goals. So I had some goals for March and the different areas in my life that I wanted to just make sure that I was like putting time and effort into. One was some friend dates. Another was like the videos was a huge thing for this month. And I feel like I've been doing a lot of them, which is nice. I'm really proud of myself. I just wanted to show you guys that in case some of you have been feeling a certain similar way. I feel like when spring comes around, we all want to just like kind of have a refresh for ourselves. I also wanted to mention the other thing I've been doing is taking a multivitamin every day. This is not sponsored. This is literally a random one I bought from my grocery store. But since I've been tracking what I've been eating so I can stay in a deficit, mostly for like health reasons. I've noticed the amount of different micronutrients that I've been lacking or just not eating enough of, like iron and selenium and folate, you know? And like I try to eat spinach and like leafy greens and stuff, but it's hard to just hit those numbers every day. So 
multivitamin guys i've noticed a huge difference in my mood and my energy levels since i started taking this you can obviously get fancier ones like ritual and stuff but for now i just wanted to see how i would feel after starting to take it every day and i want to quickly talk about some books i've been really into reading again lately and it's because my friend gifted me a book for christmas and i think this just reminded me how much i love reading i used to be such a big reader when i was younger i would go to the library i would read like a book a day like i would check out like 15 books each time and i love having a physical book she gave me this book by the Vivek Shraya called People Change and they are a trans author, also like a child of immigrants. So just a lot of really good relatable stuff in here. Like I even folded in the pages of certain things that I wanted to save and I love that. And I loved being able to have a little ritual where I would go to one of the cafes that I'm trying to make my third place and read and order myself a little hojicha cheesecake or like a latte. And I love that this was a really short read. It took me like two sessions. I recommend this. It helps me open up my perspective about change. Sometimes I'm like, am I changing too much that it's not a good thing or I'm not changing enough? Usually it's the first, like, am I changing too much constantly? And so because of that, I've been wanting to pick up physical books and reading more. I feel like it's been really nice just to like get out of my own head as well. This was a book that I bought a while ago called Pleasure Activism, one of my old therapist recommended this to me and at the time she recommended me some chapters and I like tabbed all of them but it didn't really resonate or I don't remember it really leaving a lasting impression on me so I thought now I would pick it up again and kind of just see if I resonate with it I didn't read a lot of it the first time so that could be why and then this one I'm really excited about for hardcover books I like to take the covers off it's called Welcome to Hyunamdong Bookshop this one I'm saving because I'm going to Cuba next week so no video next week but I've been doing a really good job of posting consistently in March and I'm really proud of myself. If you guys have noticed, I got like, I think this will be my fourth video out for the month. I'm saving this to read on the beach. The author basically was super burnt out with her job and then opened up a bookstore. And I'm just obsessed with reading books right now that are reflections of real people to help me reflect on enjoying the little things in life. And like basically just enjoying what life has to offer. I'm really in my soft feminine era in that sense so i'm really excited about this i bought this from my local bookshop can't wait to be on a beach too like i haven't been on a beach in too long and that's one of the ways that i heal <laughs> and with this weather like i'm so grateful that i can just f off to cuba for a little bit um yeah anyway I just wanted to pop on here and just have a little like chit chat with you guys because I noticed that a lot of the other clips in this video have been not so much me talking. So I might have to do a voiceover or something. I'm gonna have a good day. I've been working so much, like too much, like 50, 60, 70 hours a week. And it's just hard sometimes <laughs> when you're like working full time to enjoy life, you know? But that's your reminder too, guys. Like work doesn't come first. It shouldn't come first. But anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Hi everyone.